Hey, good morning everybody. Beautiful day to start our Friday here in southwestern Utah. Currently on our way to Zion National Park. I think we're only like 20 minutes away where we are now. Our hotel, Aikens Lodge, was only about 35 minutes away, but we're making a pit stop because <laughs> bathroom break. But technically it's our last full day out here in the southwest. We do fly out late tomorrow at like 10 p.m. So we kind of have a whole day tomorrow too. But after we go to Zion National Park today, we're gonna head straight to Vegas, maybe catch uh, the Bellagio fountains and lights. I know my mom really wants to see that and then maybe dinner or something, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow, probably just hang out in Vegas or something. But follow us along on our little Zion journey today. Hopefully we'll get some cool footage, maybe some cool hikes or something, and then uh, we'll see what happens afterwards. All right, let's go. Long ass line, but it moved pretty quick. Yeah. 12 minutes. About 16 minutes. You want to sit by me then? Or 12. spots that are nicer to plop down and have some lunch. Can I do this branch fell right now? I hope not. That would really hurt John. Maroni, Jacob, Court of the Patriarchs.
All right, boys and girls, that's gonna do it for Zion National Park today. Now we've got like a two and a half hour drive to Las Vegas. That's where we fly out of tomorrow night. And uh, probably, definitely, heading up the swimming pool once we get to our hotel. Cause good Lord, it's like 90 degrees here, which means it's like 110 in Vegas. So yeah, it's gonna be much needed. Anyway, onward. Just in case you guys don't remember this spot, this is actually where we camped last year on the way to Zion National Park. And if you remember, we uh, talked about a guy named Elmer Fudd shooting his gun off in the middle of the night, keeping us up. That guy right there, that camper, pretty sure he was coyote hunting all night up through midnight because all we heard was gunshots that close well this is the spot and we were showing our parents so i'm going to give you some quick drone footage to uh see some bird's eye views so John some McDaniels. What are we hoping to see, Ma? Lights. Lights where? Over the fountain. The lodge Yeah, that. The strip. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Excited? I'm excited yes. about everything. All the lights. Was it worth it? To come down here? Yes. Oh yes. Yep. Absolutely. How about for you? Oh yes. I gotta see the Beautiful. Night. Everybody back there enjoying Vegas? Yes. Yes. Why are you asking about that? There's not the driver. Okay, driver. <laughs> Can you enjoy Vegas? There's a lot of traffic. And you gotta watch out for the idiots. They one starts away on the left and then he cuts across five lanes to go turn. And it's Friday night. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon. Obviously here at the uh, Golden Silver Pawn Shop, home of Pawn Stars on the History Channel or whatever channel it's on. Well, we fly out today in another uh, nine hours, our flight departs. So we figured we'd show the parents the Welcome to Vegas sign and the Golden Silver Pawn Shop, probably drive around for another five hours or so. <laughs> we have some time to kill, so find some things to fill our time. Kayla wants to park somewhere and walk. It's about uh, 108 degrees. Sounds like a good idea. We'll find something to do. Oh, 
That is awesome. What is that? Holy cow, my girlfriend said to come here. Walking in 100 plus degree heat to go see water get thrown out of a pond. of us but I'm ready to be out of this Vegas heat and the crowds it's over 100 degrees it's like 110 or something the good thing is there's like no humidity or very little but even walking to these fountains I'm like dripping with sweat and I'm not a big fan of traffic and I'm not a big fan of crowds so I'm I'm ready to fly out of here even the parking garage is like 100 degrees and now we're tasked with trying to find our van in this like enormous parking lot so um i guess wish us luck <laughs> any last words for vegas it was awesome and spectacular now i'm ready to go home <laughs> last words for vegas in the southwest i'll be back will you <laughs> did you enjoy your time enjoying. absolutely good so happy thomas i enjoyed my time with my family and I'm so tired that I probably need a vacation from my vacation. You ready to get home? No, I'm just tired. Yeah. Are you ready to get home? Yes. It was, it was worth it. Every little bit of what I saw. <laughs> Final words for Las Vegas in the Southwest. Adios. Adios. Did you enjoy your time? It was great. Sometimes it feels like it's too short, but you know, a great time. Are you excited to get back? I got to work. Are you kidding? So you stay out here longer if you could? No, bro, no, no. If it was 20 degrees cooler, you betcha I'd even apply for a job with the phone company out here. <laughs> All right, Kayla. Hey, y'all. I've asked everyone else. You asked my parents? Yep, I've asked everybody. How's your Vegas and Southwest trip been this time around? Southwest is always beautiful. I'll always be a mountains girl. Getting out of the East Coast, you just it's crazy what you're gonna see. You just don't know what to expect. Every time you turn a corner, it's just more beautiful. Vegas, on the other hand, <laughs> I could take it or leave it. I'm not really, I've never really been a big city girl. Like I like to go see it, and then I like to get out. <laughs> the heat was crazy. It was actually hotter at the Hoover Dam, but the heat in Vegas today was crazy. I mean, it's cool to see, but driving around sucks. It was hot. <laughs> It was cool to see the fountains, but I'm ready to go home. Ready for my own space, so just to be home. Not ready to go back to work, but just ready to be home. Well, we thank you for coming along on our journeys with us. And uh, I guess stay tuned for our Hawaii footage, huh? We're going to get the 50th day. All right. Check, Later, y'all. Check the next video for the Hawaii stuff. Later.